This morning in Health Watch, we continue our series Heart Score. More than a million and a half surgical heart procedures are performed each year, but are they all necessary? New research finds that stents work no better than medicine alone to open blocked arteries if inserted more than 12 hours after a heart attack. Meanwhile, a second study found that patients who have bypass surgery do better than patients who have stents implanted. We're joined by Dr. Michael Osner, author of The Great American Heart Hoax. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Julie. So are stents good for anyone? And if so, who should get a stent? Well, clearly unstable patients, such as those in the throes of a heart attack, uh, stents can be not only important, but life-saving. But for stable individuals, I think we have a better approach. What is the Great American Heart Hoax? Well, clearly uh, the vast majority of stable men and women in this country uh, who get stents and bypass surgery, the, these procedures do not prolong life and they don't prevent heart attacks. We have a better approach, an aggressive prevention approach utilizing lifestyle changes and medi medications. So does that mean the only person who should get a stent is if they're in the middle of a heart attack and it, you're within a 12, that 12 hour window, that first 12 hours, that's it? Well, clearly uh, patients that have disabling chest pain despite medical therapy and certain uncommon scenarios such as what we term left main coronary disease. But for the lion's share of Americans who are stable in their doctor's office, who happen to have a blockage in their artery, Clearly, we have a better approach, and that is lifestyle intervention with a healthy diet, exercise, stress management, and smoking cessation, along with medications. Okay, so how do you figure out if you're in that group, if you're in the stable group, <laughs> what are the three questions you need to ask your doctor before deciding if you should get some sort of invasive procedure? Well, first and foremost, you want to find out, is there any clinical evidence that uh, the procedure your doctor recommends is going to prolong your life or prevent a future heart attack. Okay, so that's the first question. Just say, Doc, is this gonna prolong my life or prevent a future Absolutely. heart attack? Absolutely. The next question is- The next is would be one of risk. You wanna know what the risk of the procedure is. What's the likelihood during the procedure that you can have a heart attack or a stroke or even death? Uh, we know that uh, clearly uh, medications, you may have to take blood thinners for the rest of your life after certain types of coated stents. This is information that you should discuss with your doctor and your doctor should discuss with you prior to uh, uh, doing these procedures. Okay, the third question you should be asking your doctor? Well, <clears throat> clearly the third question is one of, uh, are there alternatives? You know, we look at risk-benefit ratio. Now, clearly if the risk of the procedure is great and the benefit is low, what about alternatives such as a prevention approach, utilizing diet and exercise and medications to get your cholesterol controlled, your blood pressure, your blood sugar controlled? We can do that with a prevention approach, and as a result, that's really the pathway we should be going down in this country. Good questions to ask. Dr. Michael Osner, thanks so much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. For more on our series, Heart Score, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.